Okay, so for 24, we want to see if this geometric series is convergent or divergent, and a geometric series is convergent if the absolute value of its ratio, so the thing that's being raised to a power, is less than 1. And this is because um, it's only convergent if the series, because we're adding these terms infinitely, right? If eventually the terms that we're adding, they go to 0. So if we're just adding zero, the sum's not going to change and it's going to be convergent. And since the only thing in this geometric series, A, is the same, right? The thing that is changing is this r to the power of n. So it means that r to the power of n has to go to zero as n gets large. And that's only possible whenever r, the absolute value, is less than one. Because if we take, say, one half, we raise it to a million, that's going to go to zero. But if you take anything bigger than one and you raise it to a really large power, that's just going to grow infinitely. So... Um, let's take 24, so 24 goes from 0 to infinity, that's 1 over square root of 2 to the power of n, and let's just change this to, so 0 to infinity, um, because we want to take one thing here that's to the power of n, so I'm going to put it as 1 over square root of 2 to the power of n, because 1 to the power of n is just 1, right? It doesn't change. So once I've rewritten this, we can see, let's compare this now. Um, let's compare this guy here to this guy. We can see that a is just going to be 1, right? There's no constant here, so implicitly that's just 1. And our ratio, the thing that's being raised, is 1 over square root of 2. Now, the absolute value of 1 over square root of 2 um, is definitely less than 1 because 1 over square root of 2 is about 0 0.7. So this is convergent, right? So it <clears throat> converges. And because it converges, now we can find the sum. Now the formula for the sum is this guy right here. So we can say that the, um, the sum from 0 to infinity of 1 times 1 over square root of 2 to the power of n, that's going to be a, which is just 1 over 1 minus r. So 1 minus square root of, oops, I mean 1 minus <coughs> 1 over square root of 2. So let's just simplify this a little bit. That's going to be 1 over, um, that's going to be square root of 2 minus 1 all over square root of 2 which is the same thing as square root of 2 over square root of 2 minus 1. So this here is the result for our sum um, of this geometric series.